So let's read the question. A train starting from rest attains a velocity of 72 km per hour in 5 minutes. Assuming that the acceleration is uniform, find part 1 the acceleration and then the distance trial by the train for attaining this velocity. So first step is guys, identify what is given to you. So see, we are given a train is starting from rest. That means initial velocity is zero. So write it down. That is initial velocity, which is given by you, is equal to zero. Attains a velocity of 72 kilometers per hour. So this is the final velocity. So write it down over here. That is final velocity, which is denoted by V, is equal to 72 kilometers per hour. So because this is in kilometers per hour, this is also kilometers per hour. Next, time taken is 5 minutes. So write down time taken, that is T, is given to us as 5 minutes. Now based on this, we have to find acceleration and distance travel. So the first step is guys, convert your U and V into meter per second and time into second. So see, how do we convert kilometer per hour to meter per second? Into 5 by 18. So 0 into 5 by 18, that is 0 meter per second. 72 into 5 by 18, 18 divided by 18, 1. 72 divided by 18, 4. 4 into 5, 20 meter per second. Next, convert time in seconds. So minute to second into 60. That is 300 seconds. So the first step, guys, while solving numericals is always get everything. That is in SI units, U and V in meter per second and time in seconds. Now, based on this, we can calculate whatever we want. So I'll start with part one. We have to find the acceleration. So see, what is unknown? Acceleration. What do we have? U, V, T. So U, V, T and A. Where do they match? First equation. U, V, T and A. That means you have to use the first equation of motion. So see, V is equal to U plus A, T. Substitute the values. What is V? 20 is equal to U. That is 0. Plus A, I want to find out. Into T, that is 300. Is this clear? Right. So from here we get 20 is equal to 300A. Bring the 300 here. So A is equal to 20 divided by 300. 0, 0 cut, 2 by 30. 2 divided by 2, 1. 30 divided by 2, 15. So we get it as 1 by 15 meter per second square. Now we have to always give the answer in decimal. So I'll do 1 divided by 15 over here. So 1 divided by 15. Put a decimal and two zeros. 15 goes in 1, 0. 15 goes in 10, 0. 15 goes in 100, 6 times. Minus 90, we get a 10. Take one more 0 in 100, 6 times. So 0 0.066, right? So you can write it as acceleration is 0 0.066 meter per second square. So this over here is the answer to the first part. Is this clear? Now, let's do the second part. So second part, we want the distance traveled. So because it's one direction motion, distance and displacement the same. So we basically want S. Now first equation does not have S. S is here and S is here. So see, do we have U? Yes. Do we have T? Yes. Do we have A? Yes. So we can use this equation or do we have V? Yes. Do we have U? Yes. Do we have A? Yes. We can use this. So because we have acceleration value and time value, you can use either equation two or equation three. Completely your choice, right? So let's I use equation number two. So I'll write down over here, S is equal to UT plus half AT square. So let's substitute the values. Distance we want to find, U is zero. So U into T, that is 300, plus half into A. Now see guys, for A, don't take this decimal value, take this fractional value, it's easier. 1 by 15 into t square. What is time? 300. So t square means 300 into 300. Is this clear? So let's simplify this. S is equal to 0 into anything is 0 plus 15 divided by 15, 1. 300 divided by 15, 20. 20 divided by 2, 10. So 1 into 1 into 10 to 300, that is 3000. So S is equal to 3000 because we took everything in meter per second, meters. So because we have a large value of meters converted to kilometers. So how do we convert meter to kilometer? Divide by 1000. That is 3000 divided by 1000. That is 3 kilometers. So the distance traveled by the train is 3 kilometers. 
So this is how you solve the question. So remember guys, the first step is convert u and v into meter per second and time in second. Next, we want to find acceleration. So u, v, a and t, first equation of motion, substitute, get your answer. Then we have to find distance travel. Again, because we have all the values over here, u, v, t and a, we can use either equation two or equation three, your choice. I used equation two, you'll get the answer. Even if you use equation three, you'll get the right answer. So this is how you solve this question. So remember, do not forget to convert your speeds in meter per second and time in seconds. So this is how you solve this question.